Okay, okay. You know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? We're nine episodes deep by mm-hmm. now. It's KTT episode nine. You know what I'm saying? I'm Drift. I'm joined by my co-host. It's Black Star Zero. Call me Zero. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Man's going to start out with some JJK. All right. Feel me? All right. And straight in, man's going to ask you. Mm-hmm. Do you do you like do you know what happened over the last couple of chapters? Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, yeah. So, long story short, where we are right now is um, Sukuna is using the two hands he has remaining to uh-huh. still cast Malevolent Shrine. You get me? Which was previously, yeah, that look you just gave. Yeah. Obviously, the audience can't see, but that look <laughs> you just gave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's confusing to a lot of man because it's like, how many arse pulls you gonna pull out for this nigga at this point? You get me? Can you make Malevolent Shrine with like two right hands? I mean, the nigga did it. He's doing it. Like when I say nigga, it's in the manga like it like it's in manga form. Alright, cool. You get me? It's in manga form. So he hey. just regrow his hand, yeah? Bro, they, oh, he actually like, can't regrow shit, can he? He can't he can't ever I mean, up to now. You know what I'm saying? But mm. I feel like perhaps he might be able to in the near future. You get me? But the okay. whole reason I bring up the discussion was to say, cool. What do you what do you think about the idea of Megumin right. becoming the 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 um, final villain? I'm not a fan of that. The idea, generally, mm. the theory might hold some weight, but as a I, as a concept, yeah, not a fan. How come? Huh? How come? Cause it just fuck up the fucking. You know, I mean, it's a trope now, but it just it's just fucking up the, the the trope. You know what I'm saying? You had uh, what is it? Yeah, your Naruto, your um, Naruto, Sakura, Sasuke. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it essentially went back to that at the end, anyways. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um. That would take a lot longer to get into. But my main thing is it was never established, foreshadowed or anything like that. You I mean, understand? to be fair, it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? So but. him just becoming the villain, why? Because what, Sukuna just like, Sukuna's malice just imprinted on man's soul or no, some well, shit? No, like, not Sukuna's malice is imprinted on man's soul, but you have to keep in mind that Sukuna, um, Sukuna's currently using Megumin's body. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? yeah. And Megumin is seemingly aware of everything that Sukuna's been doing while using the body. Okay. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So killing... All right, cool, but I mean, <laughs> we are where we are, you feel me? Killing Gojo, okay. that was done with your body, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And all of Kusikabe, the fucking, Yuta, all Haburumo. of the body and that's been happening right. has been mm-hmm. like being um, being done with your body. Mm-hmm. And a big part of this is um, Sukuna subsuming Megumi in some sort, like, like in a sense of like, cool, powerlessness, like you can't do nothing. You get me? Right. So the theory was rooted in the idea that, okay, cool, by the time that we actually rescue Megumi, mm-hmm. like he'll be a different nigga when he comes out. You know what I'm saying? As a byproduct of spending so long at Sukuna's fucking vessel. You know what I'm so saying? So what you're saying is JJK is not ending then? This is what I was going to like. This, this is kind of why I posited the question. Okay. You know what I mean? The reason I posited the question is because it's like, cool. Whereas that idea seemed a bit credible, mm-hmm. and it still might be credible. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whereas the idea seemed credible a couple of weeks ago because mm-hmm. Sukuna did seemingly look like he was on his back foot. This most recent chapter, once again, has Sukuna pulling out an arse that he seemingly should not be able to do. Yeah, hey, bomb Sukuna. And that's the thousand year old hair in there. So, so that's, I mean, the question I was going to ask is this it's mm-hmm. like, what's more displeasing to you? The Sukuna cycle continuing, evidently, mm-hmm. or that whole Megami becoming the villain thing? You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, I'm not going to lie to you, a lot of people are starting to get, hey, like, really fucking displeased, myself like included, really mm-hmm. displeased with how Sukuna seemingly just always has something else to pull out of his bag. You get me? Right. Despite the fucking damage that you're incurring consistently. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like that. Still not at full thinking? power. So, allegedly, you know allegedly, you feel me? So that's what I'm like, boy. Okay. So like, which which I, which I hate the more? I think I still hate um, Megamin becoming the final villain more mm-hmm. at this stage. The, the Sukuna cycle um, can only run for so long. You understand? Mm-hmm. We get bored. Of, we might get bored of it here, but we'll eventually move on to the next hype shit. You understand? So I. Anyway, um, yeah, no. So. As I said, the Sukuna cycle is bound to end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll get something to like kind of wash that out of your mouth. I mean, cards. I mean, I'll put it but this way though. Megumin yeah. being the final villain. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that's a whole different flavor, bro. I mean, that's like a whole well, different thing. I understand that, but there, like something has to be said. It's like, it's easy to say the Sukuna cycle will end at some point. Right. But the whole reason we're having the discussion about the Sukuna cycle is because it's been a cool fucking second. Sure. When I say a cool second, like, sure. don't forget, a period of months now. Right. You get me? We've been here for a second now, and it's consistently like, "Hey, you're on your back foot." Nope, here comes something else. Hey, you're on his back foot. Nope, here comes something else. Hey, you're on the back foot. Nope, here comes something else. It's like, cause 
Right, but what, what if fuck. what if little angel child was, was was correct and like bro you all think he's on his back foot and he ain't even trying but then like it's it, our perception that he's on the back foot but he ain't struggling for he ain't really struggling but okay cool if that's what's happening mm-hmm. portray that because how it's portrayed especially in the chapter before this one where mm-hmm. Yuji hit him with the consecutive on um, black flashes right. you know what I'm saying like eight of them I believe mm-hmm. even in that scrap there you could kind of see that the nigga was starting to like starting to come across like a destabilized villain you know what I'm saying like screaming you're a brat that type of shit okay. you feel me like mm-hmm. how come like this nigga seemingly getting off um, instinctual fucking black flashes like them type of monologues you feel me mm-hmm. so it's like if he's still not fighting at his fucking full potential mm-hmm. portray that because it seemingly looks like this nigga's being backed into a corner, but every time he is, he just pulls out something else. The Malevolent Shrine he's casting right now, you should not be able to do. Why? It's a binding vow. Most likely they're not binding vow. Okay. You get me? So that's why I'm like, gang, if if it's not going to be Mega Man as the last villain, and again, I don't buy into the idea, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's just a credible theory. Sure. Whatever you're going to do with Sukuna, do so feasibly soon. Because like the longer this goes on, the more it seems like, yo, it's just going to be like the last leg of JJK is just going to be niggas throwing themselves at Sukuna and him like unfeasibly So a war patrician then basically. Just unfeasibly beating them back. Mm. You get me? But that was that. And, like, I just wanted to kind of pick your brain on that one real quick. All right, quickly before we jump over, yeah? Yeah. Um, who would you say is Yuji's best friend? Nobira or Megumin? I wouldn't really say either. I can't lie to you, like. Yuji is a mad character because as happy and go lucky as you see him with mm. the brethren that he has, mm-hmm. he doesn't really look like he fucks with any one of them more so than he does the other. Okay. You get me? Like, when no bar of um died, it looked like that crushed him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When none of me died, that crushed him. Right. You feel me? Um, Mega Bane being um, taken over, that fucked with him. You get me? So it's like, I don't I don't really think Yuji is the type of nigga to even really like have a best friend. You get me? Like, if you were to say Yuji had a best friend, who would you think it is? Ah, no, I, I, I always thought it was Megumin. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I was going to ask him. And also on top of that, it would be like, okay, Megumin becoming the villain. Mm-hmm. Isn't that like a rehash of fucking Gojo and Ghetto? Um, how? Huh? How? Explain. The best friend becoming the fucking villain in the end. But, okay, cool. So, but ex- expand by what you mean by isn't it like um, a, a rehash of Gojo Well, all right, cool. So the, 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 the theory you tossed out there is like, mm. when, whenever we get Shakuna out, Megumin's body, mm. the ordeal is going to leave him like disillusioned and shit and he's going to go on to become the villain. Mm. And that the same shit happened with fucking Ghetto. Where, um, what's his name? Tojo iced up his bean or his crush. Mm. You understand? And similarly, dead off, um, dead off um, Gojo. But very, very, very different motivations though. Motivation, motivation aside, I'm just like, the concept is basically still the same. But would but that take anything from the story necessarily, though? Well, we just had it. It's not like it's a sequel. But no, well, I'm asking you, would that would that take anything necessarily from the story? Like, would it take anything from the story for you? Coming from me? Nah, but I just see the parallel there. I just keep, I, I just keep drawing the parallel, I suppose. But, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if it doesn't take anything from the story, that's what makes it a credible theory. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, is it the theory that I latch onto the most? Probably not, but I can see it being a feasible one. You get me? Yeah. And with how long that this Sukuna shit has been going on, at this point, I really am getting fucking bored. So it's just desperation for change then, basically. I wouldn't even say desperation for change. It's literally, like, you can't call it a desperation for change as opposed to what I would call, say, just behavioral patterns. Like, over a period of fucking months, every single time, it seemed mm. like this fucking story needle is going to get pushed further. Like, whatever Sukuna's going like, to do, whatever Sukuna's going to do beyond this point, do it. Nigga, do it. Instead of like just seemingly making it look like he's going to get beaten and then again, no, next week, boom, no, he doesn't get beaten. Nigga, you are actively boring your fandom. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's the point I'm trying to get. It's like, because at this point, you're having people clamor for other shit because this shit is starting to get stale, nigga. You feel me? Like, niggas even coined a term for it, the Sukuna cycle. When this shit started, niggas were like, hey, let's go, Sukuna. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Sukuna time, hey, period time, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to like, who's gonna be up next? Kashimo. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to come up after Kashimo? Da, 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 da. You feel me? Now it's like, all right, all right, gang, what we doing? All right, all right gang, what we doing? You know what I'm saying? So right. I don't know if it's desperation for change or just like a border the fucking, like the same repetition that we've been getting over a period of fucking weeks now. You feel me? But boom, bam, can't lie. Unless you have anything else to tack on to the JJK discussion, man's going to roll into the next section. No, no, I'm good. You good? Yeah. yeah. Say less, say less. Obviously, we're going to move into now the original segment. You get me? And we are back with the original segment. And by we are back, I mean 
of course, KTT episode nine. Yeah, feel me? Tell mm. a friend to tell a friend. But yeah, cool. So we are back with the original segment and that. This time around, it's just we both thought, cool. What's the 2000s anime? And by 2000s anime, I mean something that came out in between, say, 2000 and 2010. You know what I'm saying? A nice mm, 2000s mm. anime. You know what I'm saying? Which one of those do you think a current viewer of anime would still enjoy going back to like watch? You know what I'm saying? If they haven't seen it yet. Like something you think is valid enough that it's like, damn, mm-hmm. let me go back and take that in. You feel okay. me? Mm-hmm. So what's your idea? All right. For me, um, when you first pitched me the question, I went back and looked over a couple of them. Mm-hmm. Um, a few of them came to mind. There was Ra Zephon because I feel like that doesn't get as much love as, say, um, Neon Genesis Evangelion. You understand? The stories mm-hmm. are fairly similar, but Neon Genesis just kind of is more like the standout one. Right. And it's from like Gainax and it has all that kind of history and everything beside it. You understand? Know mm-hmm. So um, there's stuff like Ra Zephon, um, other ones like Shinzo. You yeah. Shinzo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, like, yeah. way back, way yeah, back, Shinzo. Way back, way back, way back. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stuff like Shinzo, but, you know, Shinzo wasn't all that great. So, um, I kind of narrowed it down to two. Okay, okay. Do you understand? Um, Land of boat. Right. So, I'm going to give you both of them. Right. But then, I'm going to go for my, my, my recommendation. Uh-huh. Okay. So, the two I kind of narrowed it down to is Full Metal Panic. Valid, right? Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, Full Metal Panic for Mofu. Valid. God damn, I love that shit. Yeah, valid. You valid yeah. Or something very, very chill. And I don't know if I, it, it, I, I don't know how niche this one is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mushi shi. Okay, expand on that one. I don't think I even come across that one. Mushi shi. That's my actual recommendation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't think a lot of man know about tell the, so, 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 tell the people them why you know what I'm saying because I mean right. right now you're putting me on as well you know what I'm right, saying I ain't cool. gonna lie so it's a very like you're not gonna get your your your, your big um explosive fight it's not that kind of thing it's not shonen it's uh okay, it's not saying you know okay, exactly usual, it's just a usual. very very chill anime to right. watch right so the main premise is that it's done and he kind of wanders around Japan, uh-huh. right? This is like way back 1800s, 1700s, around them times there. You know uh-huh, what I'm saying? So uh-huh. it's not quite feudal, but it's still feudalish. Uh-huh. All right? And it's got, um, there's another series that does something similar, but I can't remember its name now. Um, but it's to do with like yokai and, and, and stuff like, like that. Like what, like demons and shit? Yes and no. Okay. So you're never going, you're not going to get horror. No, 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 no. You know, like, no, like, no, yeah. no, I know, I know, but you're not going to get like horror demons or something like that, but it deals with like little weird stuff, right? Mm. So um, it, it, it's just it's just a nice vibe. You know what I'm saying? If you just want to sit down and chill out and just like take in some some surreal shit, yeah, mm-hmm. Mushishi is is the anime for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking like, um, let me just give you a kind of quick synopsis. I think this is like the first episode, right? So... It starts off with this Don and he works in like a sake. Sake. Bro. I knew it. I knew it was. Yeah, but remember the one I'm talking about that, yeah, bro. Yeah, mushishi, yeah. it is so good. So yeah. he works in this in this sake uh, making factory, right? And he accidentally makes this thing called golden sake. Uh-huh. You understand? Um, the main character usually comes and like collects some. You understand? Because it's used for a specific purpose for people like him. And there's other people like him that go around Japan. So they go, they kind of go around and like dispel curses and stuff like that. Yeah. Right? Um, but the people aren't supposed to drink the golden sake because it makes them addicted and it also makes them see shit. It makes them aware of like the yokai and the spirits around them when they're not supposed to. Okay. You understand? Um, and so... Uh, uh, um. The guy that accidentally ma- accidentally makes it, he ends up going into like the forest where he runs into the people that are like the main character and they're all like trading the sake and that's who that shit's made for and stuff like that. Uh-huh. But like I said, it's very chill, very like, very um gorgeous to look at. Yeah. You understand? It's just a nice vibe. Like, you understand? If you don't, okay. if you're not really into just like, you know, like giant robot fights, you know, world ending fights, you know, panty shots and fucking isekai to like... If you just want something nice to just like sit down and chill out, well, something to just switch up your palate for real. Yeah. You understand? All right, switch up your palate for real. You understand? I'd recommend Mushishi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's my recommendation. No, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Although I can't, I don't think I've seen it at all as much of it as you have. I do remember that first episode you were talking about, and pretty much everything you just said is on base. You feel me? I can't lie. It was very unique looking. You feel me? Very pretty to look at. And I do remember that first episode kind of being like a very slow, it was like a very tranquil fucking watch, fam. You know what you I'm saying? Like, bro, like what was it going is on such a really vibe. like slowly unfurls over the course of the episode. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like, huh. 
Like, you gradually get to sink into the vibe of the anime. I mm-hmm. suppose it's the easiest way that I would describe mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, nah. You know what I'm saying? W fucking recommendation. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. We took it away from the usual uh, punchy, punchy shit that we usually do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In some mm-hmm. form or format. You get me? So, I rocks with it, man. I rocks with it. And don't um, forget for more for as well. Like I said, if you like, if you just want something to just, like, laugh at, mm-hmm. it would help if you've seen Full Metal Panic. First, there's like three part, three four, um, three parts to it. Four if you include Fomofu. Um, but Fomofu is more like a spin off than like a sequel or anything like that. Yeah, but it is just a, a, a very funny anime to 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 yeah, to kick like, like something light hearted, which I yeah, know a lot yeah. of people that watch anime yeah, so watch. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah you like you want your little um light hearted watch every now and again. You exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah. So for more panic, for more for I can stamp it as well. I've seen it, Be seen it, gone back and rewatched it. Like it's a good local, good local vibe. You know what I'm saying? Shit's real cozy. Look at the, like if you want to see a good um um. You know, a good taste of what Life of Morpho is. Mm-hmm. Just go on YouTube and type in um what is his name? Sagara versus uh, the karate trio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and that alone will set you up in that. You know exactly what this what, yeah. what the series is about. But yeah, sorry to cut in there. No nah, man, no nah, man, you know what I'm saying? Just putting the people them on. Um yeah, no, nah, W covered. Um do two two very good uh, recommendations in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Uh, full Metal Panic for Mofu once again and the other one I don't want to mispronounce it Mushishi okay, no. I say it slowly because you know yeah, saying it fast would be kind of tricky yeah, like, that's why Mushishi. I don't really want to try I don't really want to try and say it because I know I'll fuck it up I ain't gonna lie to you yeah. <laughs> you get me but alright cool for me my choice this week is an, uh, it's, a, it's an anime we both know you get me mm. we both fuck with you feel me that anime being Air Gear vibe you get me Air Gear absolute vibe um, um, we've, we, we've spoken about it before lightly on the pod you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. um I think it was a uh, anime with top five animes of like aesthetic or something like that. Right, right. Oh, oh drippy, drippy, yeah, drippy yeah, or yeah, some yeah, shit yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Airgate came up there, and because you brought it up there, I was like, boy, we are gonna circle back around and put niggas back onto um Airgate. You feel me? So I don't even know where to begin. Like I already said in that podcast, go back and watch it. You know what I'm saying? Can't remember the exact episode name right now, but it's just such a cool fucking anime to watch. I'm talking visually in terms of like story, the aesthetic that it gives up. Like, True. The world building. True. It's 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 such an easy anime to watch and just like submerge yourself into. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Like it's a very easy anime to watch and then place yourself into that world. If you've you ever I mean? seen Air Gear, yeah, you can't tell me you've never seen the motherfucker roll past on rollerblades and like, damn, I wish we had that. Oh, uh, bro. Or like, cause it was in the 2000s when rollerblades were a thing. I don't really see man on rollerblades anymore. I see skates. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know I, mean, but don't I don't see rollerblades. You like, don't get me wrong. Bro, there's there, there's somebody that lives around here. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That I see on rollerblades. No, lot, no. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about the um that's skates. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Skates. Blades are the one with like. No, 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 no. But one. like blades, not skates. That's what I'm saying. Blades. Okay. I've seen right, a lot of man on blades. Fair you're like, you'll see man on blades in like traffic and shit, which is bizarre. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. To me. Bizarre to me. But obviously, if you watch something like Air Gear, you understand mm-hmm. why some men feel passionately about their rollerblades. Bro, blade. you, you like you wanna be doing all them kind of tricks there. Mm. But the thing that, and I, I hope I'm not cutting, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. The no. thing that's always stayed with me for air gear, the fucking OST. Yeah. The fucking bro, OST. Always, bro, bro, oh my God. If anything, you you can make a very strong argument that the OST for air gear is easily like 50% of like why anybody likes it. I'm not lying to you. you know Trust. What I'm like you can make a very valid Trust. argument. You get me? A very valid argument. So when I say air gear is a bad boy piece of fucking anime to watch, it's such a cold piece of anime to watch from the concept of just using what they would call ATs that being air trucks, right? You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. IRL um, air trucks would just be basically roller skates. You know what I'm saying? Electric roller, or skates. like electric roller blades. You feel me? Yeah. But within the world of um air gear, they allow you to basically like skate up the side of fucking surfaces, like buildings and shit. You know what I'm saying? Depending on on your like your skill level with them. And then even within that, there's like gangs. So it's got like a light delinquent anime vibe to it. Yeah. You get me? Because yeah, there's like yeah. gangs, and by gangs I mean every. It, like everybody that uses ATs, you're usually either the leader of an AT gang or you're a part of an AT gang. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then of course within that there's a ranking system. I'm not gonna divulge everything right now. But, but it goes say, deep. It's a for, like, good for fucking the, for, anime. It goes for the deep. runtime that it gets, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Ah, oh, ah, oh, fuck man. You know what I'm and, saying? And, and I don't even speak on the fucking runtime, but yeah. And it it got the um early two thousands treatment, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh what I mean by that is is that it ended the way this the anime ended is not the way the manga ended. Did it even definitively end? Like, did the anime even definitively end? No. And yeah, he gave, he gave you a bullshit definitive anyway. It becomes the leader of um, I forgot what it called. Is it, it the, Genesis or something like that? I, it, but but is that not where like shit actually goes? It's just the anime didn't animate anything after that. 
I, I, like, I think that was the fucking issue. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because no, you got like the, an OAV. The ending was unique anyways. But no, no, no. The actual ending yeah. for it is unique. Well, wait, wait, wait. So you're saying so the ending the, was the ending unique The ending of the anime, the anime was, was unique. unique. It's not, man. Okay, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so, fair but, enough, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it was leading to him going there because if I remember, he does get um get to become the leader. Like, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Simka. The Swallow. Simka? Yes. Yeah, Simka, I think she does get to make him the leader and then... um. And that's what I'm saying. That, like, that, yeah, that's all of that I mean. gets all taken that from is him in, and he has to fight his way up. All of that is in order. the manga, if I don't believe. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? So, so I'm like... So it's, it's, it's sort of like um, Shaman King and Full Metal Alchemist in that. You understand? Like, it got a unique anime ending because the manga was still ongoing at mm-hmm. the time. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, but, um, yeah, no. Nah. They gave you some compilation movies. Have you seen those? Uh, no, I haven't, no. You haven't seen... Ah, oh, they're, they're fucking great. So that's when they take on, like... Um, the original Sleeping Forest. Oh, you mean the OAVs? The OAVs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. So, so you've seen those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, so they I do give you stuff. I kind of have to watch those because that's literally all you're getting from. Oh, anything. you're bro. You know what I'm, I'm saying I'm so upset. That's not me trying I'm to so talk upset. down on the fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm that's so not upset. me trying to talk down on the thing. No, no, never you know that. Never that. Never. It's not even a talk down. It's just like, bro, that was a good series. I'm, I'm only. I want them to revisit that one. Then they need a reboot. That needs a reboot. Give that a remake. Reboot. Like I'm only mad I didn't get more type shit. You feel me? Yeah. But um, yeah. Obviously, without going too deep into it, because I really do what we really do want you to go and watch Airgear yourself. If this does sound good to you you know what I'm saying go and watch it Ergie you get me Super Hot Fire that's easily my recommendation for this week easily my recommendation for this week you get me and with that we are going to close out the segment you feel me and we are back with the final segment for this episode you know what I'm saying we had to had to keep something in the tuck that we've been covering for a cool minute because it hasn't really missed I ain't gonna lie to you you know what I'm for saying off that, disc- like, off that description there you can kind of already tell where it is we talking about Boruto my dog we go my dog, my like Boru Goat, for real. Except he don't feature this episode. Okay. Right? We're talking about the other main character. Uh-huh. Boruto. Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh-huh. We're talking about the fraud, Kawaki. Okay. All right? <laughs> Still ain't beat them allegations to you, no? Huh? Nah, 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 nah. And that's kind of why I have this question, isn't it? You understand? Because um, looking at chapter, what was it? What were we on? Chapter nine, Boruto? Uh, I think so. What was the two Vortex 9, I believe? I think yeah. so. Bro, it's like... Anyways. I think, yeah, I think so, because this is the ninth episode, and I think we've covered Boruto every week. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, yeah. No. I, th- I think we yeah, cl- Close enough, close enough to it. But yeah, so, um, the way it come to me is um, when Boruto was sunning him. Right. You know what I'm saying? He points out that Kawaki ain't trained at all. What he's been doing for the past three years. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we already seen in the Boruto anime that Kawaki don't fuck with training. You know to, what to Specifically, detriment. ninja training, he don't fuck with that. He views it as a waste of time to his detriment. It's exactly right. Now that could be trauma from Jigen beating ten tons of shit at him on a daily. Okay, you understand? So, bro's like, yeah, I just don't want any, any part of that shit. Um, but it, all, it could also just come down to him doing it as beneath him because he has all the power he needs right now. With the fucking karma marking and the the, the you know and the um, but he felt the way he felt like about training mm-hmm. before he properly um unlocked his fucking karma and the, and the no juice. Yeah, you know I know. So, yeah, so you know what so it, 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 could it be might, it might thing, just be know? a situation of him just disliking the concept of training or right. because like he doesn't really see the whole ninja shit as like mm-hmm. as close to heart as somebody like Boris. Or Precisely, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So in that regards, I think we can all agree that there's no Kawaki training arc in com- incoming. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's not going to fucking. Happen. I mean, I, I I don't know if there's a trading arc. I mean, I don't know if a trading arc is incoming, as anybody would understand it to be. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. any other trading arc up to now that you've seen in any other anime. Right. If there is one coming for Kawaki, it probably won't look the way that we've uh, like we've ever seen it look before. But yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't I don't think it's coming. So um, that then brings me to the question. So exactly how is Kawaki gonna bridge that gap? The power gap. I feel like I, I feel like you, you you've already had um a theory. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. obviously, there's always been theories yeah. going around. He's probably gonna absorb Jura. Yeah, but is that just too easy? Is that a too obvious one? Uh, I mean, how's in in what ways it obvious? Huh? In what ways it obvious? Well, a ten tails is a is a is a biju, mm-hmm. right? The shinju is a fraction of the ten tails, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So we know that you can seal a biju within a person. Yeah. To become a Gene Chiriki. Yeah. Right? So that's one thing. Mm-hmm. Kawaki could also, because he's basically 100% Otsuki, mm-hmm. could just absorb him to, to, to get the power. Right? To get the power up he needs. Okay. Right? So that's one method. I'm also wondering if there's something that Amado could do. 
basically to improve the tech inside him mm-hmm. to get him up to snuff. So if, if for example, yeah. it's not going to be, you know, absorb Jura. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, I was, I was going to say, if Amado does, let's say, upgrade the body on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At that point there, why the fuck would I need to? Have, like, if you if you upgrade my body to the point that I can now throw hands of Jura, mm-hmm. why are we still grappling with the theory of him absorbing Jura to like... Not just Jura, but basically, and that's like, all right, cool. So Jura probably I'll, being I'll, the strongest yeah, person we have on pitch right now. Be like, I, yeah. I, I right, think cool, most people enough. consider yeah. Jura to be the strongest nigga out of all of them right now. You know what I'm saying? Until we see what Hidari can do properly. You feel me? But... Uh, if, if we do go down the route of cool he gets his body upgraded by Amado further you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying in order to put him in league to, uh, with like Jura and the Shinju right. and Boruto you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying at that point there why would you still need to even absorb Jura you get yeah, me like exactly. just eliminate them you feel so me it's a, it's a either or so my, my kind of question is like which do you see as a more likely route the absorbing Jura definitely the, probably the, definitely the, um, the absorbing the, the absorbing Jura route you know yeah. what I'm saying it, it just seems like a cooler fucking method to tell a story in my opinion you know what I'm saying absorbing the fucking nigga that's currently the top up mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying in order to like signify that Kawaki as we've always known him is the top up even like regardless of how you felt about him up to now mm-hmm. if he absorbed Jura at any point mm-hmm. he now credibly becomes the top up you get me right and that would be cool because Jura is currently the top up but if he gets his body upgraded it's like okay cool anything or anybody he can't beat he should feasibly just be able to get his body upgraded to a point that he can eventually surpass him then mm-hmm. you get me so that's why I'm like if you go the route of him upgrading his body it's like okay cool he should seemingly be able to beat anybody over time <laughs> I guess you get me? I guess. I guess. You get me? Mm-hmm. Whereas if you somehow absorb Jura, maybe Jura gets weakened. You know what I'm saying? In a scrap or some shit. I don't know. You get me? If you absorb Jura, it's just a cooler way of like signifying that I've added your power to my already significantly fucking large power base. You get me? And then that would kind of showcase the fact that, yo, yeah, I am now officially the nigga that you saw way back in chapter one. You feel me? Right. I am about to go do that to the nigga that's currently been curb stomping everything, that being Boruto. Right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like, if you ask me, um, similar to like how we said in the JJK discussion earlier on, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Between the two options, um, I'd feel better about the um draw absorb the draw absorption option as opposed to the body modification option. You feel me? Right. Both are very credible, very credible. You get me? Given the like the direction of um Boruto, you know what I'm saying? Using technology and shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But I personally, for my sensibilities, I prefer you absorb draw. You get me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I prefer you absorb draw. But um my 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 question is this, right? Mm-hmm. Do you not just think um, at some point, do you not just think at some point that Boruto is going to like, well, not Boruto, sorry. Do you not think at some point Kawaki is going to like actually knuckle down and train? No. Really? Absolutely not. No, 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 even no. Uh, even no, after, no, even, no, no, even no, after no. the direct showing, the direct, like, it's, it's one thing before to just think you can beat Boruto. You get me? So maybe that's why he hadn't been training. There's one thing before to just think you can beat Boruto. Right. You get me? There's one thing to just think that over the three year period mm-hmm. that Boruto would pull up and you still would be th- um, stronger than him. Mm-hmm. You get me? Now he's pull up, you've launched multiple attacks at him and this nigga cleanly no diffed you. We ain't talking about Jura, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about the nigga that you have a fucking hard on for. You get me? He pull up and no diffed you. Dodge your local fucking chakra rods, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And peace you in your stomach. Mm-hmm. I feel like after a display like that, it will kind of force you to realize, yo, m- like the level of strength I'm on needs to increase. Bro, in and the same present, fucking and day. at present, Sorry. right? At present, you aren't strong enough to beat Jura. So that method of upgrade is not going to come around yet. You get me? And I don't see him getting his body modified. You get me? So mm-hmm. I'm like, I think after the display of getting punched in your shit actually by Boruto to signify, yo, currently you cannot fucking step to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like it might encourage him to like, yo, let me actually do some training. Let me actually engage in some training. I, I, I don't see it. at present right now, that's the only way your hands are upgraded. I don't see it. You get me? So I like, don't see it. That's the only way I see your hands upgraded. Like, I'll down the hill myself because mm-hmm. right now it just makes no credible sense. Like, at present, if... He still thinks he can beat Boruto. What sense does that make in like terms of storytelling? If he still currently thinks that he can beat Boruto, off the muscle of what? The fact that he no 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 no. That's what I'm saying. So wait 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Let me land the boat. Let me land the boat. Right. So the reason I say that is because cool. If you now understand that Boruto is in fact stronger than you, yeah. How are you gonna get stronger? Well, to a normal mind, fucking training, but that's not Kawaki's mind. That's the point. I'm. That's the point I'm looking at now. So the point I'm asking you now is okay. Cool. From a storytelling perspective, yeah. if this character understands that he is no longer stronger than Boruto, yes. how is he going to get stronger? What like just give, give me a give me a like a like a spitball theory. A spitball theory. As for how the, like it like I said, in any normal person, yeah, the obvious thing is like, damn, 
I need to 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 improve. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Um, and generally, the way people do that, they would either probably go train or you know, like figure something out. Yeah. Right. Kawaki is not going to do that. Which is what I'm saying. Like, so what will he do? Like, huh? give, give, give me give me like a rough idea. Kawaki's gonna do what Kawaki does. That being, when Bro lost his hand, uh-huh. right, and some kind of, when Bro lost his hand, right, and they were training him, and I think even the karma as well for 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 a portion there. And they were trying to train him how to use ninjutsu. Uh-huh. You understand? Bro hated the training. You understand? He wanted his karma. He wanted his karma back because that's just the kind of guy he is. Short, quick route to power. So at present, mm-hmm. where we are in the story, yeah. with Kawaki, who has recently just been pieced the fuck up by Boruto, yeah. if that individual wanted to get stronger, mm-hmm. what would his options be? Like, just like, get, like, like a rough idea. Rough idea, as I said. Because boy, to me, well, we already said that. Like, it's one of the two. It's either Amado upgrades him. Or he absorbed the latter. Or he, or, or drew absorbed. I'm or he about, absorbed. Jura. I'm talking about him right now. Him right now. How in the fuck is that nigga gonna absorb Jura? So it can't be that option. You yeah, not right. Not yeah. And that's why I'm. That's mm-hmm. what I've been trying to ask you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, cause. So what his next now, move is? What his next move is? Well, that's what I'm asking. I'm right, like, his next you move. Right now, he's gonna be a bitch in the corner. You as right now, he's gonna nigga, go cry in the corner. If you wanted to become stronger, okay. Beyond the jokes, if you wanted to become stronger, I'm like, nigga, you gonna have to go fucking drink. The thing is, the thing is, alright, cool. I said he's going to cry in the corner, but yeah, that is a joke. But really what he's going to do, what he's really going to do, he's going to go stew at the fact that Boruto is now stronger than him and whine that he ain't got the power, you understand? And scheme about what he needs to do next. <laughs> like, Brody is not going to put in any real uh, effort into that. He's not. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Say no more. Well, um, that's been KTT episode nine. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to wrap it up there with the Boruto discussion. I have been Drift. H Blackstar Zero. Man, them. Catch you in the next one.